Today's top stories. The U.S. Treasury yesterday took new steps to further limit Iran's access to America's financial system, banning so-called U-turn transfers to Iran. The move will protect the U.S. financial system from the significant terrorist financing and proliferation risks posed by Iran. Prior to the ban, U.S. financial institutions were authorized to process certain funds transfers for the direct or indirect benefit of Iranian banks, its government, or its people. In explaining these U-turn transfers, the department added that these payments were initiated offshore by a non-Iranian, non-U.S. financial institution, and then passed through the U.S. financial system en route to another offshore, non-Iranian, non-U.S. financial institution. Ayatollah Janati, who led the Friday prayers in Tehran today, said that despite all the promises of change during the U.S. election campaign, he does not expect the new president to fundamentally change the relationship between Iran and the U.S., and that the U.S. is fundamentally opposed to Islam. Janati said, quote, But in principle, it won't make a difference. The general unavoidable policy of America is opposition to Islam. This won't change. No matter what side comes to power, no matter what political current comes, no matter what party comes, things will be the same. This is deep-rooted. The secretary of Iran's influential Guardian's Council next went on to provide statistics about the bad state of the U.S. economy. He said, quote, There are a lot of problems inside America. At the moment, some strange, incredible things are being said, and I have taken down some notes about one of these things. It says, it says more than 50% of people in America are finding it difficult to secure their basic daily needs. More than 50%. He then added, They are headed towards a fall. They are spiraling downwards, and we are spiraling up. The U.S. Department of Labor reported today, that non-farm payrolls fell by a larger than expected 240,000 in October, the 10th consecutive decline, suggesting that the world's largest economy is heading towards a recession. The department also revised its payroll figures from September, reporting a loss of 284,000 jobs from an original 159,000. Total job losses for the year now stand at 1.2 million. The nation's unemployment hit a 14-year high in October of 6.5%. Highlighting the extent of the credit crisis and global economic slowdown, Ford Motor Company today posted a $2.98 billion operating loss for the third quarter. Ford's shares have fallen more than 70% this year. Israel's Defense Minister Ehud Barak today urged other countries not to rule out the use of military force against Iran over its disputed nuclear program. After talks with U.S. Secretary of State Condoleezza Rice in Jerusalem today, he said, quote, We don't rule out any option and we don't recommend that others take any option off the table. But Ynet News reports that Obama today contacted Israel's Prime Minister Ehud Olmer to reassure Israel of his unshakable commitment to protecting Israel's security. These stories and more at IranVNC.com.